Gogan. I am a junior psychology major and French minor at Holy Cross, and I'm currently spending my fall semester abroad in Strasbourg, France. Strasbourg is located in the Alsace region of France and about two hours by train from Paris, so we're super centrally located in Europe, which is really, really nice. I study at Sciences Po, which is the political science school in the city. So I am here with nine other girls from Holy Cross. Um, this semester was just all girls, which was really fun. And the program that Holy Cross has in Strasbourg is completely language immersive. So we live with a host family and we take all of our classes in French and do a lot of cultural activities. And um, it's been really, really fun and definitely a learning experience, but I've really enjoyed it. So I am just here to take you through what a typical week in my life looks like while abroad. It's currently the beginning of December, so we're getting ready to finish up some of our final projects, take our final exams, and um, get ready to leave in a few weeks, unfortunately. But we have lots of exciting things planned. The Christmas markets in Strasbourg um, are in full swing, so I'm really excited to go do that. We have a lot of activities planned with the other girls and our cultural advisors here. I am really excited to take you along. It's Tuesday morning and I'm currently at my internship that I do here in Strasbourg. Um, we go to a local elementary school and I sit in on a um, first grade classroom. I help a teacher um, with teaching grammar, teaching them math. Um, I get to talk with the kids about American cultural things like Thanksgiving, Halloween, and I love getting to talk with the kids. It's great for to help practice my French, listen to the teacher and the kids interact. Yeah, it's been a really great experience doing this overall. And yeah, this is my second to last time. Um, so we, I'm here with Erin. We just got out of our internship. Today I helped the teacher set up and there was actually a um, guide dog here who came to visit all the students. So it was really fun because we got to go sit with the dog. And Erin, um, what did you do today? Um, today, so I'm working with a student who just moved here to France. So he actually speaks English and I'm teaching him French and English at the same time, just like translating the lessons for him and helping him just understand what's going on in class and it's yeah. really nice working with him. Uh, it's really good because I feel like this, I don't know, like I feel like we talked about this, like the internship is like really good for helping our French because honestly, sometimes we're learning the same things that the students are. <laughs> Today, the students were learning uh, like the passé composé and like the present future tense. So I was like, oh, I know how to do this. I can help the kids. So it's good practice for everyone. So I just got home from my internship and it's a quick turnaround. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go meet up with some friends from Holy Cross who are sitting around in Ireland and came to visit Strasbourg today for the Christmas markets. Okay, I'm here with Kelly. Hi. She is from Holy Cross and she's studying in Cork, Cork Ireland. Ireland. <laughs> and we're debating if we should get a sweet treat or not. I think, I think we're think, gonna, I think I really we should. Yeah, I mean, you have to while you're in France, yeah. so we're gonna get a sweet treat. Okay, so I'm here with Erin and Ava, and we're in our sports and nationalism class. We're the first people here, um, but this is our last class, so we're doing a whole review of the whole semester. Um, and yeah, this is what our classroom looks like. And the classes here are pretty similar to Holy Cross student to teacher ratio, which is really nice. And here's the view from our classroom. Super cute. So this afternoon, we are heading to the Strasbourg Planetarium. I'm not quite exactly sure what we're going to see. I'm going with the other girls from Holy Cross and also Inez. Inez um, was one of the foreign language assistants last year at Holy Cross. This semester, she's been helping us out alongside our cultural advisor here um, on taking us on excursions. We've gone on hikes, we've gone to museums, we've done so many different things. So it's really nice to have... Um, Inez and our cultural advisor Malu here to kind of guide us through and give us a really good cultural immersive experience. So as I'm walking to meet Inez and the rest of the girls, I'm just thinking about how one of the biggest adjustments of studying abroad was how long it takes from, to get from place to place. Very different from living on the Holy Cross campus where I can get from one end to the other in 10 minutes. It takes me about 30 minutes to get to school, but I honestly really love that aspect because it has forced me to learn how to use public transport and I walk a lot of places and um, I get to see more of the city. Okay, I'm here with Inez. 
Hi, so today we're going to the planetarium, which just opened in Strasbourg, and we're going to be able to look at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm very excited to see what it is. So as Anna said, we did look at the sky. We got to see the different planets and the different star constellations. And we actually got to see what the Strasbourg sky was going to look like that night. And they pointed out what planets we could see and what constellations we could see. So it's Wednesday morning and I'm currently heading to my 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is my world history class. And I really like this class because we actually learn a lot about American history and other countries, so it's cool to hear it from the French perspective. This is my one class that's in a big lecture hall, which is so different from what I'm used to. There's about 100, 150 kids in there, and the professor just talks to you for two hours. Very different from what I'm used to at Holy Cross. <music> Today in our lecture, we learned about the Ottoman Empire, and then usually after class, I like to head to a cafe and get some work done. So right now I'm getting ready to head to the Strasbourg Christmas Market. Um, Strasbourg is known as the Christmas capital, and around this time of year, they set up a bunch of different markets around the city, and there's so many pretty lights, and it's just so Christmassy, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna meet up with um, some of my friends, and we're gonna go explore. Okay, I'm here with Maggie and we just got our manala. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and it's like an Alsace pastry. I have so many different types of Alsace foods here at the Christmas market. Um, and yeah. And besides all the delicious food at the Christmas markets, there's also so many different types of homemade gifts like ornaments, vases, and so much you can buy. Okay, so today I have a visitor. This is Mac. Um, she also goes to Holy Cross. She's studying in Galway. And today we are heading to Colmar, which is another city in the Alsace region of France with um, more Christmas markets. So we do, like to do a lot of day trips here um, to other regions and cities in France. So we're on the train right now heading to Colmar. I have probably taken, I can't even count how many trains since I've been abroad. Trains are the easiest, fastest, best way of transportation in Europe, in my opinion. Um, especially in Strasbourg, we're so centrally located. Um, we can take trains to basically any country. I've seen so many different countries um, while in Europe, but I've also been able to travel to so many different regions in France and explore that. So it's really useful and easy to have. And I wish the US had a train system like they do in Europe. Tonight we have our Secret Santa gift exchange with the other Holy Cross girls. We try and do like a little dinner party or just get together with the girls every once in a while. One of my favorite things um, about this study abroad experience is the friendships that I've made. I didn't know any of the girls super well before we came to France, but after the five months we spent together, we've all become super close and I have nine new people to say hi to on campus next semester and hang out with. That's definitely been one of my favorite parts of abroad is the friendships that I've made. Secret Santa was super fun. Everyone did so well with their gifts and we had a little dinner and one of the girls made lasagna and it was just really nice to be all together. So it's Saturday and I am getting ready to head to brunch with the rest of the girls and we're trying out this place called the Drunk Stork Social Club, I think. And we've been trying to go here the whole time we've been in Strasbourg, but we just haven't been able to, haven't been able to get a reservation or just hasn't worked out. So super excited to try it. And um, I think all 10 of us are going, which is so fun. I love how we do brunches or dinners sometimes, um, just the 10 of us. It's, um, they're always super fun. <laughs> And that's pretty much what a typical week of my life looks like while abroad in France. I just wanted to end this vlog by saying that study abroad has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. I have learned so much about myself, so much about the world around me, made so many new friendships, and I think everyone should consider studying abroad. It definitely is a learning curve and it's not the easiest at times, but I think every bit of it is worth it. You know, I've live with a host family. I live in a 
foreign country that speaks a different language so it it's not easy 100% of the time, but you learn to adjust and it's been amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for following along and that's the end of this vlog. Thanks.